Hey there, and welcome to the third of four videos detailing CASA software systems. In this video, we're going to talk about HiRISE, CASA's contact management system. So let's jump right into it. It should be noted, first of all, that HiRISE is a data-heavy environment. If we want to keep track of all the meetings that we ever have with MPs and Senators, it's imperative that after those meetings we promptly update HiRISE with how the meeting went and all the commitments that were made therein. This is a system that is only as strong as the members make it. So please be prompt and please be detailed whenever you have a meeting with someone so we can update the system. As we all know, reputation and opinion are two cornerstones in our advocacy efforts. Having detailed information about everyone allows us to be more strategic in our advocacy approaches. Now let's get introduced to the system. On the left panel here, you'll see the options for you to go on. Latest activity details the recent updates to the system. I won't go into that right now, though, uh, because that will reveal information that we don't necessarily want public. It's important to note at this point that every all the information contained within HiRISE is of, of the utmost confidentiality. In order to be the most effective at our advocacy efforts, we need to have frank and earnest opinions about all of the elected and unelected people sitting in the House of Commons and Senate, and so it's imperative that we don't share that with outside sources, as that may compromise our integrity. The second link here is contacts. In contacts, you'll be able to browse all of the MPs and senators the CASA has ever had interactions with. On the right panel here, we try to simplify things a little by breaking everyone up into caucuses, committees, and as well into their writings and universities in their writings. So if we were to click on Carleton here, it would show us not only the MP who represents the district that Carleton is in, but also all of the MPs that have ever gone to the university or have had relationships with the university. But we're, right now, we're going to look for a specific MP, so we would go to the search bar right up here. In this case, we're going to look for the Honorable Yakov Smirnov, the Member of Parliament for Paradise Falls. Right beneath his name, you will find all the tags that he has been tagged with, and feel free to edit the tags and introduce new ones. On the right panel here, you will find his contact information, some recent tweets from the Twitter sphere, and also some of his background information, so you can get to know Yakov a little bit better. In the center here, this is where all of the interactions that CASA has had will be logged. Here you'll see a, note, a meeting that Jacob had on August 24th, 2004 with Yakov, and it's going to go into all the different spe spe specificities of that meeting right below. Now that we know a lot about Yakov and the past interactions with him, we can go on and explore the other parts of HiRISE. Tasks. Tasks are one way in which we keep members accountable and also home office accountable. Once you make commitments during a meeting, feel free to make a task and assign it to someone that you think is the most appropriate person to get it done. Tasks isn't used much in the day-to-day -day of CASA, but it's inf it becomes extremely important during the annual lobby conference. Cases are a way in which we sort actions and messages and contacts by the issues that CASA is currently dealing with. If you wanted to know people that have been referenced or care about First Nations, Métis, and Inuit accessibility, you would simply click on that case and all the information would be readily available. Lastly, deals isn't used by CASA. It's simply a function of high res that we don't use. And also, search notes allows you to search through all the different notes, giving different phrases. So I hope that's a good introduction to high res Again, it's of the paramount importance that we keep high res updated and clean because if we don't do that, our advocacy efforts in Canada's students across the country will be worse off. I hope that's informative for you, and I'll see you guys next time.